Dang it, my mic screwed up and so my audio was very low. I'm upping the audio of the entire video so you can hear me, but the episode is going to be pretty loud. Sorry about that in advance. Welcome back, friends, with more His Dark Materials. This is Season 3, Episode 3 and 4. Last time we saw the death of an angel at the hand of another. Will found Lyra, because of course he did. He's the best. And he was able to get her away from Marissa and the Magisterium. But then Asa Hetra broke? What the heck is that about? That's real bad, because... It was their escape hatch in so many situations. And then we also have Asriel leading this war. He did pick up Marissa, though. Curious to see how things progress from here. But all right, let's continue. Full reactions on Patreon. Uh, leave a like. Really helps with the channel. And oh, I have to include a logo in the YouTube reaction or else the episode will likely get blocked. Last week, it was up for like two days and then blocked for 80% of my viewers. So sorry, but it's necessary. Let's get started. Still dreaming about Roger. Land of the dead. Whoa. Is it another nightmare? No. Then what? Lyra. Just too much to think about. Why are you lying to Pan? Whatever happens, we'll be together. No. I believe it will take more than manpower to eradicate her. What do you think it'll take? Your prisoner is awake. The angel? He Very sleeps. Good. Or did we capture someone else? Oh, Marissa is the prisoner. You don't need to tie me up, Azrael. You are my prisoner. You're enjoying this, aren't you? A little bit. She's in danger. No, no I haven't. Azrael, she's our daughter, and the Magisterium want her dead. Do you know what they say she is? Hokum, Eve. religious Eve. hokum. Azrael. How could you and I? It's not worth his time, it feel, he feels like, because he's got a bigger fish to fry. But she is important. I have someone with her. Oh. With Lyra. That girl has cast quite a spell on you, hasn't she? <laughs> it's very possible that it's all hokum and ridiculous, but the Magisterium believes it, and no matter what, it makes... It puts her in danger. Oh, he was so worried for a second. Just staring. I know. <laughs> I just didn't think I'd see you again. I ran, I need to talk in private. They said private! How do I know you won't just cut into another world? Fine. I will leave this broken knife here. Don't check it though! <laughs> I gotta watch that in slow motion. How they Is that a really good idea? Shape shift. Still, the still got the leafy on it though. Ask it how to fix the knife, if it's even possible. Your father, you found him. Uh, he got a lot and of catch to do. Shot by a soldier. Since he died, I've done none of the things he asked me to do. Stay away from the city road. What's this? It's compass, torch, some generally useful stuff. You've Aww. been very kind. She became like a mother figure in 30 minutes. I know who can fix the knife. York understands metal. If anyone can fix it, he can. We can huh. go through the window. He told me to take the knife to Asriel. No. <sighs> Maybe Asriel regrets what he did. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe. It wasn't. I have the only knife that can destroy the authority as knife bearer. It's my responsibility to, to do that. To work alongside a murderer. Hmm? No. When I was asleep, Roger spoke to me. And I think we should go there. Go where? The land, to the land of, of the dead. dead. That's convincing. Bring people back from the dead, Lyra. So you're choosing him? I'm not choosing your dad, I'm choosing my own because he died before I even knew him. I'm the bearer, not you. Oh no. They just reunited and they're the fighting. I don't want to see them fighting. Lyra's. Is it true? You brought her here. She is fiercely intelligent and it looks at the moment like she might be on our side. I think we can use her. You trust her so much, you took her prisoner. I don't trust her one bit. What are we gonna do? Don't glare at each other. He found you. He fought for you. And the first thing you do is argue with him. You're not always right. You know that. <laughs> I'm sorry. One thing I know about you is that you don't apologize easily. Fine. Then I'm not sorry. Lara! <laughs> I'm sorry too. We can fix the knife and then you can decide what to do. I'm grateful you came to me first. Aw. I had to. Me and Pan will find our own way to Roger. Um. 
How will you get back? We're splitting up. I've heard enough. You've been lying this whole time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The knife is broken. Your father was right about you. You are insufferable. <laughs> Tell him we escaped. You can fix it, can't you? Not with you here. We can't trust you. And if I refuse to leave? Then I'll close the only window still open and we can all stay here. Ooh. You summoned me, my lord. My lord. <laughs> Shit. Ah, uh, the tood. And what happens if you find me guilty? Pelt me with rocks. Tar and feather me. Isn't that what you do to unruly women? Don't play the victim, Marissa. My experimentation with dust is equal to that of Azrael's. <laughs> Ask him. You killed... I killed witches, yes. I murdered. I experimented on children. I have behaved abominably. You are not asking the important question. Why would I help you? Oh. Because we have the keys to your cage. Oh. Why would I help you? Because you are the only ones who could help protect our child. And the Magisterium started becoming interested in dust and children, and I, I had concerns for her. I couldn't save her. But you can do that, please. And I will that is all I beg you. of you, and I will do anything. Jeez. Why? Because I love her, Rusha. I think that's something you I can think trust. We've enough. Off with her head. Just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> she was holding me. Never been held before. Will hold her. If she betrays us, even for a second, let me be the one that kills her. You will have that on her. Okay. Cool. Bring her in. She's like, yes. All right. If I get to kill her, fine. One of Roke's spies tells us that Lyra is traveling with a boy. He considers himself a bit of a hero, but I find him rather insipid. Of course he would. And I had nothing of a knife. Oh. oh. I have missed you, Lyra. I missed you too. Will's knife broke. I needed to go to the land of the dead. I know the best blacksmith in the world, sir. So. The land of the dead is no place for the living. The knife will have broken because Will's mind was divided. He huh. doubted his path. So Doubt comes when you care. It's not better or human. It's the worst people that don't doubt, the people like my mother and my father. Wow. Read your instrument, Lyra. Ask it whether you should go to the land of the dead. Not a bad idea. And will you abide by it? Will you help? I've never known it so confused. That is your answer. The alethiometer thinks it unwise. Then it said yes. <laughs> then it said yes. Still a silver tongue. <laughs> Fine. Freaking Lyra. She's so cheeky. And we love her for it. I hope you brought sunscreen. We're all out at all hours of the day. One of our team observed that in the process of demon severance, there was a release of energy. How much energy? It was heretical. I don't think we should be building anything. I am fighting for a new Eden. That gives me a strength which I didn't realize I had. <laughs> You're hunting a little girl. The knife is broken. How? Huh? It broke when Lyra's mother tried to take it from the boy. She lied. Seems you did see the knife, and that it was you, in fact, who broke it. Why didn't you tell me, Marissa? Well, I didn't think it would further my cause. <laughs> I believed you. I need to put you back in your cell now. You don't uh, need to do anything. I don't want to. I've abandoned the search for Lyra. Since you've destroyed the knife, I have no use for her. No, you can't. I can, Israel. and I have. I cannot believe that story. It's not all about your beliefs. They believe yeah. it, and they will yeah. act on it. A throne? I don't sit in the throne, I sit in the earth. You cluck and you settle your feathers over Jesus. her like a mother hen. <coughs> Hands off. Why can't you just be who I want you to be? Wow. Take your hands off. You forget yourself. <laughs> the kingdom is ruled by a regent called Metatron. An angel. Just another person, really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. Every hideous thing you've ever done, in his name, and it was all a lie. 
Place the knife in the fire. We're just gonna do it out here in the forest? A divided mind broke it. Only a strong uh, one will make it new. Right. Hold it still in your mind. Without me. Oh. What is your mother so easily disposed of? Ah! Oh, damn it. It's focusing on her. Oh, shit. How does he use smithing tools? I want to see. He's a bear. What are you holding? Are you holding it with between two paws? I need to know. <laughs> be a welcome visitor to Svalbard, and the same is true of you, Will. You are worthy of each other. Aww. Goodbye. Ooh. Does he speak? He's decided not to, but I don't need him to speak anymore. How does it feel? Different. You're different. I saw you and... Hello. Is he uh... He's an angel. <laughs> Is he uh... You nearly lost it. Forever. Are you ready to go to Lord Azrael? No. I'm sorry about that, Miss. I have to go to the land of the dead. There's someone there who needs our help. Come with us. Come with us? The land of the dead cannot be entered by angels. <sighs> Thank you. Really think they would turn against us because he has one of Metaton's angels prisoner? I think that depends what Azrael does to him. We are going to cut you to pieces and then blast you back to your master. Um, is this the best idea? I'd like to begin now. I do not do this willingly. I do this because you force my hand. <laughs> you will deliver my message to Metatron. I. Oh! Here! Asriel's also got a bit of a god complex here. Just blasted Marissa. it. Oh, oh shit, Marissa. I didn't think it would backfire Marissa! this fast. Oh, Jesus. Marissa! Goodbye, Asriel. She wants to play mother, so let her. I hope they're ready for her. Oh, I hope they're Hold ready us. for her. About turn! Land of the dead, eh? How do you even... What exactly am I looking for? Oh, it's endless. About to ask. You okay? This is it. Wait. This doesn't feel safe. Probably isn't. Lyra, wait. Oh. Lyra and her death? Excuse me? Little kids in the background. Pan, stop that. Pan can't help it. What's he doing? Just get in my pocket and we'll be fine. There are people here who should have demons, but don't. Delighted to see you again. Please tell the Cardinal that Mrs. Coulter is back. What is she doing? This makes me uncomfortable, the fact that they're here. No, no, stop! You. Yes, I'm talking to you. You aren't dead. How long do we wait? Until you die, of course. <laughs> okay, maybe let's not do that. Go! She's trying Always to keep one hand on the wheel. God, no, I know. Father President. He's Father President. It's Father Gomez I have with me. It's me, Hugh. Or do you only answer to Father President now? 
You see where Lyra gets her cheekiness uh -huh. from, maybe? She also is a boy staying. She also delivered them an intention graft. Thank you, Father Grimmage. Is <laughs> the boy staying? Flops are kind of loud. You're under arrest, of course. How disappointing. For deliberate concealment. There really is no need. I'm here to help. You have prevented us from finding Eve. If, as soon as I could escape from Azrael's fortress, I did. Look at my clothes, Hugh. I even bought you a piece of his technology, which I'm sure your scholars will be delighted to drool over. Oh. I made you cardinal. I did that to earn your trust. And in return, you have betrayed me. I betray you. <laughs> Eden fell. Not when Eve came into being, but when she was tempted. Somewhere out there is a tempter. And then you sent your troops and scared them away. She's twisting this so, so well. I assume Fra Pavel told you about a knife. I broke that knife. <laughs> Trust me to advise you as I once did. Concentrate on the battles that need to be fought and leave Lyra and her temptation to me. She is so good at this. She is, I, I, I thought there was no way she could, wow, this you is impressive. You know, I impressive. think I saw him murder an angel. She has him wrapped around her finger. And he would hurt such a thing. He would hurt anything that came into his path. <laughs> she doesn't You have care. my mind, my body, and my soul. Body, did you say? <laughs> what is this? Oh, kiss the ring? Kiss the ring? Oh my god. Oh my god. Marissa, how the hell did you do that? That was freaking ridiculous. Peace offering. That's how we found you. The monkey's afraid of her. She's afraid of herself. Mrs. Coulter. Oof. So are you here to spy or to help? You intend to kill them before they kill Lyra. And if they kill you first, you risk yourself very easily. Mary Malone. More like Mary alone. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Can we have a scene of her applying sunscreen so that I know she's protected? Feels like we're in a horror film. <laughs> Why would you want to watch a film that makes you feel horrible? You make a good point. Please, we don't know what we're doing, and you seem vaguely friendly. Vaguely? We just really need to know what the rules are here. What is happening? So, this is so weird. Torture deaths. We don't have deaths, because we're not dead. Okay. Take a seat. Our death hovers close by and guides us. Everyone has a death. Goes everywhere with them, all their life long. Isn't that scary? Not at all, dear. Your death comes into the world with you. The demon. And it's your death that takes you out. The only way you're going to cross the water and go to the land of the dead is with your own deaths. I have no need of breakfast. I must pray. Where is the chapel in the citadel? meal of the day. I need to repent my sins. You can pray in your room just as easily as you can in a chapel if you won't stop. You'll do what? I'll fetch support. Good. We all need support. <laughs> Freaking Marissa. Go on. How wonderful and unexpected you're still in employment. In fact, how wonderful to see you alive. What are we working on here? Oh, this is all restricted, I'm afraid, Mrs. Coulter. Dr. Cooper, you have always been so kind to me. I see no reason why you should stop now. Marissa. You have... Now, this is a resonating chamber of some kind, am I right? Are you building a bomb? You don't oh, understand. Oh, I do. <laughs> what a fascinating position we find ourselves in. She's so brazen. Summoning death. Do you even know what that means? No, of course not, but we've come all this way. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the right thing to do. Reckless. But we are doing it. It's what we came here to do. I never got a chance to say goodbye to Roger. I never got a chance to say I'm sorry. All I want to do is make things as good as I can. 
even if I have to die doing so. You're my death. Yes. Follow me. What the heck? I'll be back. Don't worry. He has no idea what the heck is going on here and we're just talking about death. How can he not worry? You planning to kill her? To lead us into salvation. The locket. Follow him. Ooh. The hair. We are certain this is a child's. Fra Pavel is certain. To aim this device. The hair, wherever it might be, will want to be made whole. Wow. It will be merciless in this pursuit. I know I'm not deceased, but I need to go to the land of the dead, and I need to see someone there, and I need to get back. We both had people taken away from us too soon, and we both need to make amends. Well, everyone wishes they could speak again to those who have gone. Why should there be an exception for you? I just want to be good. I just want to help someone. And Roger needs me. And I wasn't there the last time he needed me. I will be your guide, Lyra Silvertown. As for getting out again, you'll have to manage that by yourself. Whoa. <laughs> Hunger. Did you just speak? something behind you take me to the best places you know that <laughs> she spoils him taking him to all these special places what else is there left to do not use a bomb on a little girl oh gave them the fuse to a bomb sheer arrogance i underestimated them can you burn the hair What do you intend? Destruction. <laughs> She's such a wild card. Agent of chaos. Look, if you don't want to come, it's okay. I can go alone. I didn't spend months searching for you so I could wave you off at the gates of hell. I don't <laughs> think it's hell. Looks a bit like hell, but it's not. I just want to be sure you're sure. I am. Look, sometimes we do things, we get places, and we forget how we got there. I know how I got here, Will. And what if we don't come back? Then we will have died doing something important. Stop right there! Hey! Damn it. What is there left to do? I wish to stand trial for the murder of Cardinal Sturrock. A murder I conspired on with your father, President, a man who sins with every fiber of his being. Oh, shit. I have changed. You have not, Hugh. You need to be stopped. Hugh? Who is this Hugh? You will address me as Father President. <laughs> you or Your Grace. This is where your loyalty lies? Right. This Is this your not king? Not with that above. Is this your king? Not with truth, but with power. <laughs> Surrounded by haters who worship you. Take the clock! Stop her noise! Such true, enticing uh, beauty. Fucking hell. Now, but you didn't take all of it. Oh shit. We still have enough left. You will be the bullet to kill Lara Balakwa. Take her to the cellars and bring her demon to me. Leave all belongings and come on board. Wait, belongings includes the knife? Smuggle the knife. One of your party is unsuitable for travel at this time. Han. Only one? No passage. Not for him. But he is me. If you come, he must stay. Whoa! No, that's not right. I don't leave part of myself behind. Why should she? Yes, you do. Absolutely, you do. But you must all leave that part of yourselves here. The rules are very clear. He can come on the boat. He fits everywhere. And we've always traveled together. No one's ever had any problem he with it. So I don't see how you... 
But if he does, the boat stays here. We can't separate. We can't. Hey. You see, I can't tilt my hand and make the water fly upwards. No more than I can take her demon to the land of the dead. You might have to make an exception just this once. Do you think if anything could hurt me, it wouldn't have happened already? Do you think the people I'd carry come with me gladly? No, they struggle, they cry, they bribe, they threaten, they fight. We can still turn around. But I can't not do this. You can, Lyra. What about Roger and Sal? You're leaving me here alone. I can't betray Roger. It's my fault he's dead and now he needs me. Jeez. I need you too. Why can't you see that? I'm not leaving you. Not forever. Will and me will find a way out of here. You've chosen Roger over me. No, no. Oh, please don't, don't do it. Oh, please. I love you. Just go. Oh, this feels... Ugh, I don't fully understand this journey in the first place. We gotta help Roger, but he's already dead. How, what can we do to help him? And now we have to leave Pan behind? Oh my god. Isn't this painful? Isn't this... Good sound. Can you turn into a bird and just fly along? You wouldn't technically be on the boat. A whining sound. Deeply disturbing, and it feels bad, man. Sorry again, guys, for the audio levels. Uh, hopefully, it won't happen again in the future. But what the heck, guys? Pan and Lyra being torn apart like that? They've been together this entire time through all three seasons, but it's more than that. They've been together since they were born together, since before the show even started, looking out for each other. And Pan, I don't think. He was trying to guilt her, trip her or anything to get her to not do this. It's just, they're so desperate to hold on to each other. They're together. They're the same. Being ripped from yourself. I mean, we saw how much it hurt Lyra. God, that was so sad and uncomfortable to watch. Pan was just trying to avoid that. And then the whining sound he made, like he changed into a different animal too. Once he realized she was going to leave without him. And oh, it was painful to watch. I really appreciate Will just constantly being there for Lyra, though. It's a lot. He put everything aside for her once, and he's doing it again. And maybe it's more important than we think. Maybe there's something in the Land of the Dead that will be important, not just to Lyra and saving Roger. Not saving, but like being there for Roger. But maybe it'll be important to this war as well, or to their character growth as kids growing into adults, I guess. And I mean, coming back from the Land of the Dead has to change you in some, ra some way, right? Give you special insight or something? I don't know. Uh, but a lot of this episode, and these two episodes, were really, really weird. This terminal, this processing for the dead, and a death that follows you your entire life and is with you always. It's really fascinating, but I feel like these episodes have extremely fascinating concepts, but I don't fully understand their deeper meanings. Um... When they were first describing deaths, I thought they were talking about demons, but then a woman who is Lyra's death showed up and guided her to the ferry. Oh, it's all very, yeah, very interesting to watch. Uh, Marissa Coulter is so freaking ballsy and a joy to watch. Uh, I called her a wild card, an agent of chaos, but unfortunately this time she overplayed her hand. She was too desperate. She said something of her own arrogance, actually, and I can see that because uh, she's so good at playing people and believed too much this time in herself that she could manipulate her way around everybody. I mean, I was impressed and thought that she actually managed to pull it off, but this one time, the Magisterium was the one who played her. She always has a plan to play, though, like tried to bring down Father President with her, asking to stand trial along with him for conspiring to murder the previous leader. Jeez, she's just so much fun to watch, even though she can be so, so evil sometimes. And then, yeah, Asriel killing an angel like that. Are we sure the angels will side with him after this? He seems... It feels like a, not a good move for him to do that. He's just too emotional and unstable. And 
Yeah, more unstable than a man in his position sh position should be. Like, his hatred and passion seem to control him and not the other way around. And I think it's very natural to get violent when someone spits in your face like Marissa did. It's like a natural reflex. But if he had taken it any further with Marissa, it would have been a very bad look. Thankfully, he backs off, but she still has this hold on him like no one else seems to. He's highly emotional when he's with her. And yeah, with just four more episodes left and them like Azriel and Marissa in completely different places, I wonder if we'll see them play off each other again in this series because I hope so because they're so super, super fascinating to watch together. Keeping this short though because I want to sleep at a reasonable hour, but yeah, HBO is freaking evil for leaving off right here after Pan and Lyra are separated. And the boatman said that Will had to leave that part of him behind as well, but he's never known that part of him like Lyra knows Pan and Pan knows Lyra. But if they come back, Lyra said she'll find Pan. We'll, we'll have to find that other part of him as well. I'm not sure how that works exactly. Anyway, yeah, this show is so interesting. Hopefully the next episodes are less painful than this. Uh, again, sorry for the audio issues, but yeah, full reactions on Patreon. Leave a like. I'll see you guys next week with more. Bye, friends.